If you want to know how to be a successful filmmaker and you can only remember one thing, remember this. Whoever owns the most attention wins. Good ideas and good stories are a dime a dozen. I'm friends with tons and tons of filmmakers and I shit you not, every single one of them has had great ideas for movies. Attention is important in most industries, but in terms of filmmaking success, it is absolutely critical. If I could start all over again, I mean all the way back to the first time I picked up a camera, there are many things I would do differently, but of all those changes I would make, attention is the area that I would put the most focus and the most effort in. This is the way it's always been, but now, in this day and age, it is more important than ever before in order to stand out from the massive ocean of wannabe filmmakers. So how do you get noticed in the ocean? You be the explosion and everyone else is just waves on the beach. It's tough. I don't know. With the state of independent filmmaking changes, there's yeah, like but you filmmaking know, changes. But at the same time, though, yeah, there's a lot more to competition, but also those crappy movies aren't competition if the f***ing thing is like f***ing dynamite. There you go, you know, All that well. shit is, you know, yeah, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of people out there doing stuff, but if, you know, it's like waves on the beach, all right? You make, some, you make a piece of nitro that you throw in an audience's lap, you know, those people notice. Let's look at the career of Michael Bay. Many regard his films as some of the worst, but no one can argue with the fact that his career is among the most successful. When Will Smith and the producers of Bad Boys were looking for a director, they turned to music videos. Will Smith said, holy shit, there's only one director that decided to blow up a fucking airplane in his music video, and that was Michael Bay. So what did he do here? He grabbed their fucking attention, and the rest is history. But of course, the landscape of the film industry has changed dramatically. Nowadays, you have to fight even harder to get attention. Maybe a viral video catches the eye of a top actor or producer and suddenly it becomes a theatrical release film. Or maybe your two minute horror movie gets so many millions of views that one of the top directors in Hollywood decides to produce a feature film with you. Or better yet, what if you're raising money for a film and your teaser gets so much attention that you raise almost a million dollars. I can tell you from personal experience that on my last film, I went through the trouble of getting double the attention I had ever gotten for my previous projects, and the end result was double the success for that film that I had ever gotten before. The largest retail store in the nation. Trying to go see if our copies are out of the movie. Okay, we are in, okay, so here's the big fancy movie section over here. Where'd you go, Jennifer? Okay. So. Boom! Yeah, boom, I see. There it is. Check it out, y'all. Ooh. Lots of room. On the shelves of Walmart. Every Walmart in the nation. Go. Think about the different ways your project can own attention. There are a thousand different paths to success as a filmmaker. Find yours. Don't sit back and wait for it to find you. Okay guys, that's it for today. Please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you soon.